Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a social icon sidebar in your Squarespace website. We're going to take the social media icons that live in the header of your website and use just a little bit of custom CSS to scoot them over to the side of the page and use the position property to make them sticky so they're gonna stay visible and on top of the page content no matter what you're scrolling through on your site. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into Squarespace and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in my Squarespace site, and again, this is specific for version 7.1. What we're going to do is take the social media icons from the header and move them over to the side of the page. So if you don't see icons, like I can't see them right now, hop into edit mode, select edit site header, and under elements, turn on your social links. These are the links that we're gonna put on the side of the page. Okay, once you have that turned on, we'll go ahead and select save, and I'm gonna navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. We want this code to work on every page on our site, so it's important that we put it here in the custom CSS panel. So this is the main code that's beneath the video. I'm just gonna copy it here and paste it right here in my custom CSS so we can see it. Now those icons have moved over to the left there. And if we scroll down, you'll see they'll actually stay above the content on the page no matter what we scroll through. So the first thing we've done is put them into a column. Then we've said position fixed, so they're gonna stay there. I scooted it just a little bit more to the left. The padding wasn't quite even there. If you remove that part of the code, you'll notice they're gonna scoot over to the other side. We wanna position them on the left. And then after that, we have top 50 VH. That scoots it down 50% of the view height for the screen size. You can change that to maybe 500 PX if you have a very specific number, or maybe just 200, wherever you'd like it to be in position on the page, and it'll stay there. So adjust that however you see fit. I thought 50 VH was pretty good for the size of the site that I have. That's where I wanted them to be. Now, underneath that, I've changed the background color to a solid white. You can change this to anything you want it to be. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a light gray so it stands out a little more. And then I added some padding. I said padding 1VW, and that'll put a little bit of padding around the edge of it. If we remove that, you'll see that background goes really close to where those icons are, and I wanted to give them a little bit of space. Now, the very last part of this code right here actually adds a little margin left to the very first one. There's some funky spacing that goes on when we scoot it, so I'll show you. If you remove this code, I want you to notice that my LinkedIn icon is no longer in line with all of the other ones. Adding that little bit of margin left to it to kind of reduce it actually scoots it back in line. You can go even smaller if you want, maybe 1.25 whatever you're comfortable with so that those icons line up, I want you to adjust this value right here. Now you can customize this even further, not just adjusting those sizes. If you wanna add a border to it maybe, you can give it a little uh, border with this code right here. Um, I'm also gonna add a semicolon and let's give it a bit of a box shadow so it kind of stands out from the page. I'll say 5px, give it a little bit of a spread and a radius and now I've got that shadow so it really stands out against the content on the page. Super duper customizable. Play around with these color values and these length values to make sure it looks perfect for your own website. Whatever you decide to change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, those codes we just used are listed below. Just make sure you update things like adding your own custom border or a different background color. Try and get really creative with this one here. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF, available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.